All right, folks. The day is January 13th, 2024. A Saturday. A blustery Saturday here in Columbus, Ohio. Temperatures, wind chill reaching about 8 degrees. But I can't be bothered with that because today is the day that the Browns make their triumphant adventure, journey towards Super Bowl stardom. Uh, it's around noon, got up early this morning, went on a little Costco run. Here's some of our haul. We got a bunch of olives and snacks and whatnot. Uh, there's Cat, check that out. Got a bunch of seltzer waters. There's uh, meats and cheeses and veggie trays and we've we got it all figured out, right Shug? Mm -hmm. uh, how are we feeling? High noon. Uh, good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm nervous, personally. But I'm getting excited. Defense is unflappable. Joe Flacco is looking elite. At this point, we just got to let go and let God. Go Browns. Woo! I had a lot of nervous energy, so after fist bumping my dog, we took a little walk over to the corner store, where the vibes and the excitement for the Browns were absolutely palpable. You know, every turn, you see someone who's just as excited as you are for the, the frenzy of playoff football activity that was about to take place. And uh, they were all ready to cheer on the Browns. Bengals fan! Been a Bengals fan all my life. Come on, man. And all right, it is about one o'clock. The house is clean. Uh, I'm getting clean. I'm not there yet. It's still pretty, pretty dirty actually. But that's why I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower. Um, I'm getting kind of nervous. I actually uh, almost threw up a little bit just while I was peeing. It was, it was almost a disaster. But uh, three hours till kickoff. I'm getting clean. Go Browns. I should mention also at this point that uh, foolishly before the game was scheduled, I scheduled a poker night with my buddies. So uh, I'm going to be taking this wad of cash and gambling it after the game. So today could be amazing or it could be the worst day of my life. You be the judge. Despite that obvious lapse of judgment, uh, the vibes were incredibly high. Uh, there you see my buddy Dan, he's in the building. I have Super Bowl! Super, Super Browns! I was getting calls from friends out of state. The people were pouring in the front door ready to, to cheer this team onto victory. Like, the vibes were, the vibes were high. I was ready to go see some playoff masterpiece here. See, we got the snacks laid out. The drinks were on ice. It was, it was, it was time to go win a game. Uh, Browns started off rocky on defense, but eventually came back and scored to uh, enormous applause in my place. Oh. Come on now, come on, <laughs> let's go, let's go. I was looking for a little more excitement out of you guys, let's but that's go, all right. Baby, there we go. <laughs> Just kidding, it was like a funeral in there, but uh, I remained hopeful. Uh, all right, defense looks absolutely piss poor right now. Can't stop a uh, strong breeze. But it's early. We've got time. We've got well, not to be blown over by the wind. Andrew, uh, they couldn't stop us a breeze. It would be extremely impressive to be able to stop a breeze. <laughs> hey, Corey, can we smoke in here? What are we doing here? Cigarettes. Anyways, no, no quarter two coming up. Go Browns. The Browns answered right back with another touchdown, keeping this game very much within arm's reach. Uh, I was feeling pretty excited about this, getting the, the crowd hyped up here, the pulse in the room. There was there was still life in this team, and there was still life in my eyes, as you can see. Uh, oh, yeah, and then the Texans scored again right before half. All right, end of the first half. Score is Texans 24, Browns 14, right? 24, 14, yeah. Texans 24, Browns 14. That was the most dog sh abysmal, piece of trash, garbage f and waste of time effort I've ever fucking seen on a football field. Unbelievably porous defense. Can't stop 22-year-old C.J. Stroud. He's a 
baby and we are just letting him march all over the field. We're a waste of time and if shit doesn't shape up in the second half, we're gonna lose by 50. Go Browns. What are we, what are we doing? And just like that, folks, with 6.05 in the third quarter, we are officially dead. Browns down 16, 30 to 14. They have no chance. They are dead in the water. Unless, of course, they come back, in which case I reserve the right to redact everything I just said. But I do not feel confident. It is not looking good. Go Browns. Turns out I was absolutely right. There would be no redacting as the very next drive Joe Flacco threw yet another pick six, uh, effectively closing the casket on this game uh, for good. If you would like my real-time thoughts about that, here they are. Ugh. All right, folks. That was horse We stink. The defense stinks. The Browns stink. It's all over. Honestly, great season. I allowed myself to get my hopes so very high. The defense was incredible. They were horrible today. I'm sure that no, no one will ever bring that up again in the rest of my life forever, in the next 30 years, about how historically good the defense was and they give up 158 bazillion points. I'm sure it'll be fine. Kurt, any parting words? No, that was tough, man. That was real tough. It sucked. Alex, what do you think? Jim Schwartz, fail to adjust. I'm never gambling again. Hopes <laughs> got too high. <laughs> Etc. Etc. We'll see what happens next year. Etc. Etc. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. We'll see you next year. I'll see you, dude. Thank you. Later, dude. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's time to shift gears, I guess. It's poker time. Here comes. So yeah, just like that, uh, one of the funnest seasons of my lifetime just came to an end. Really was quite a bummer because uh, it really was so much fun to watch the highs and the lows and all of that. But uh, it was kind of nice to have something to distract my brain. And also, I won $210, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, better luck next year. Go Browns.